Welcome back. Today's Blast from the Past segment will showcase the Knight R100A kit receiver. It was produced by Allied Radio from 1962 to 1968 and was made in the United States. It featured a transformer type internal power supply with a single conversion superheterodyne receiver. The nine tube design sported a built-in BFO and even a Q multiplier. It was general coverage from 54 kilohertz to 30 megahertz with calibrated band spread for the 80 to 10 meter ham bands. It sold new from 100 to 110 dollars. Well, let me take a brief moment to give you a guided tour of the front of the control panel of the Knight R100A receiver. Of course, top left is the band spread control, which is actually calibrated for the ham bands. In the center, you have the main tuning knob. And then on the far right, you have the S meter, which was an optional addition, and the original owner and builder of this unit decided to install that and it works great. Down here you have the main control whether it be off, standby, receive, or calibrate. I do not think this has the crystal calibrator in it. Bottom left the RF gain. Then we move over to the ABCD band control. These two knobs control the Q multiplier and this knob controls whether the Q multiplier is on or off. As you can see, it's in the off position. We have an antenna trimmer here, which is very helpful. Then when you place this into the BFO con control to uh, copy sideband or CW, then your BFO sensitivity knob will be useful here. And then finally, we have the AF gain control here and headphones. Now, of course, this is, serves as the volume control. This knob I'd like to comment a little more on. You have the BFO for sideband and CW. You have a manual control for the volume. You had an automatic volume control and even an automatic noise limiter built into this radio. So there was quite a lot of features for this radio when you spent $100 back in 1962. It was packed full of features for your money and it still is a great radio and it's one of my favorite vintage radios. I bought this a number of years ago at the Reedsville North Carolina Ham Fest, brought it home anticipating some type of problem, have found absolutely no problems with this receiver. It's the first time I've ever bought a vintage radio at a ham fest that I didn't have to do anything with. So it was a joy, and it's been a joy to have ever since. And I hope you're going to enjoy a little bit of the demonstration that will follow on some of the bands. So stand by. We'll see what we can tune in. Well, as you can tell, I've tuned into a ham radio conversation on 75 meters. And with a little bit of tuning, it's pretty easy to do. Of course, you have to put it into the BFO mode. And I do have the Q multiplier on. That helps quite a bit because you can tune using the Q multiplier. And you've got a selectivity control, so it helps a lot. Well, let's listen in a little bit more. Okay, well, we'll tune across some additional bands. I'll be right back. You have a worldwide mind, like you have the internet today, connected by wires. Imagine all of the consciousness. And as they 
come over, it will help develop the U.S. players as the U.S. Well, God likes people like Well, we're taking a tour of the AM broadcast band now, and as you can see, the S meter is working great. I've actually got the antenna trimmed, and the signals are coming in pretty good right now. Well, let's see if we can find something on the shortwave bands. Well, we've taken a quick tour of Band C, and that was around 4 to 8 or 9 megahertz. And I would doubt if we're going to have anything on Band D since this is night time. That is generally a daytime frequency. Let me reach over here and turn this down just a little. Well, that's the uh, tour of this wonderful receiver. I have loved it. It's uh, the Knight R100A kit that uh, was, was kit form back in the early 60s. It's got a lot of features for the money that you spent back then. And it's going to stay on my shelf for a long time because it's one of my favorite radios. And every once in a while, I'll bring it out and hook it up here on the workbench and take a listen. So I certainly appreciate you listening, and check back in with the channel real soon. In the meantime, take care.